Welcome to the first Headshot episode. I'm Luminary, bringing you note and rage-worthy tidbits from the gaming world. There are plenty of articles out there in the gaming industry, in the gaming world, that make you want to rage and throw stuff and post nasty things. And this article I'm about to tell you about by Frank Cifaldi is not one of them. It has to deal with a study done with the folks with the lazy eye condition at the University of California in Berkeley. And they took the traditional treatment that they use on children which is they cover their good eye with an eye patch and then they combined it with playing about 40 hours of video games in two hour segments and what they saw was a 30% improvement or one and a half lines on the optometrist chart. They took seven new volunteers and they put them through the traditional therapy which is cover up your good eye and do your daily activities for about the same amount of time which was two hour segments, 40 hours and they found no significant improvement in the weak eye. They took those seven same people and put them through the video game program and they found that there was a 30% increase just like the first batch. And that finding right there is absolutely amazing. This is fantastic news. This potentially means that you can now train the weaker eye to operate like the good eye without taking time out and the recovery period needed for surgeries. The links to the articles are below and in the video if you have the annotations on. Give them a read. They're fantastic. There's something else I wanted to talk about, and it has to deal with this show. I'm sure you're asking yourself, Luminary, what are you doing? Black screen, white letters. It feels like I'm watching Adult Swim. Well, I like that particular style, and I feel that I don't need to clutter up your view space with a picture of me talking into a microphone. So... What does this mean? This means that I can utilize your viewport to bring you links, flavor text, contrasting text, pictures, videos, whatever I find that I think is necessary, I can post in the viewport without me ever having to show my face. This particular episode is a bit longer than I wanted, but I wanted to make a few things clear. I consider this episode a headshot episode because it's short, concise, and to the point. And if I find something that makes me rage, or if it's really cool, I will put it here in a headshot episode. What I'd like to do is, at the end of the week, put out an episode that briefly covers everything I talked about during the week, and then have a whole section dedicated to emails. I would love to see emails from you guys, and I really don't care if it's a troll, or if it is constructive criticism, or if it's telling me how great I am, and with a question, I will definitely put it on the air, but as long as it's tasteful, if I get emails that say, you are suck, you die now, it's not making it on the air, I'm sorry, but if you send me emails telling me why I suck, or with suggestions on how I can improve the show, or how I could not improve the show, depending on your point of view, then I'll put it on the air. I really want this show to have the audience involved in its production. I believe that audience participation will make a fantastic show. I would also like to highlight some YouTube channels that I haven't seen before, so if you find them, feel free to send them to me to my email. I'll check them out, but here's the rules. It can't be your channel. It has to be someone else's. If you're recommending me to see your channel, then the chances are it won't make it on the air unless it's absolutely fantastic. My favorite YouTube channels are in my channel box. As far as I'm concerned, those guys have done a fantastic job presenting information and making me laugh, cry, and rage. Well, that's all for today. I'm Luminary, and you just received a headshot.